Okay, well, let's uh, have a look at the uh, the headlines of the day. Um, plenty going on in well in, in the world in Hamburg and beyond. But the euro dollar uh, takes uh, retakes one fourteen on soft dollar and hawkish ECB. Uh, I believe that you're slightly um, in slight disagreement on the stance of the ECB at the moment. Yes, I wouldn't call them necessarily hawkish. I'd, I'd say they were being slightly less accommodative. But the idea that they're going to be raising rates anytime soon um, is frankly preposterous. I mean, there's chatter that they may go for a taper exercise from January down to 40 billion. That's hardly something we should be running scared of. I think what really is powering this higher, though, is the narrowing in the 10-year US uh, euro um, uh, yield spread. And, you know, we've seen Germany, particularly the 10-year Bund yield yesterday, was just jumping higher and higher, breaking key levels. We're up to 0.56, which in the greater scheme of things is very unattractive. But it's not so long ago, barely two weeks ago, that we were down at 0.2. So for those who want to be overly dramatic, you could say, well, the 10-year Bund yield has tripled in the past two weeks. And that's definitely playing into that equation at the moment, though I'm not sure that we're not in a situation now where there's been a lot of euro longs accumulated. And so you're now starting to accumulate some risks on the downside if the ECB doesn't actually start to deliver. Okay, let's have a look at the chart just over the last 24 hours, 50 minute chart if we can. You see that surge even before the ECB uh, revelations uh, around lunchtime. So just uh, went up and stayed up and is just uh, treading water now, no, no sign of any weakness. Yes, I mean, to me, that's a, a chart which suggests that we're, we're gradually losing momentum on this up move. It's starting to look a little bit tired. Um, so we'll, we'll see. I mean, we really need to have a weak US um, lab, set of labor data today, I think, to really drive the euro higher or, on the other hand, to see 10-year um, bond yields rise even more.